<clears throat> yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, a lot of emotions, like you mentioned. Uh, you know, I came in, um, just wanted to get the offense down, um, earn the respect of my teammates, and uh, go out on the practice field and, and make plays for the offense and hopefully give our, give our offense the best chance to win. And, uh, you know, I'm just grateful. Um, I'm humbled and um, I'm, ready. I'm ready for this weekend. Uh, I know we are as a team. And uh, like you said, we have a great challenge ahead. Um, and it's one that we're going to face head on. Yeah, they're a very talented team. Um, they're always going to be in the top ranks of the recruiting recruiting classes every year. Um, they got a lot of, you know, they, they get the Southeastern kids, um, guys that I've played with growing up. Um, but yeah, when we played them in, in or when I played them in 2018, um, real physical team, uh, very sound uh, defensively, and um, they're not going to make many mistakes. So you have to go out there and, and you know, make less mistakes than, than they happen to make. So, um, you know, like I said, tough team, uh, tough defense, and uh, they're going to play really hard. Uh, yeah, we spoke uh, on the phone. Yeah, last weekend, um, or actually, yeah, 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 last weekend. And you know, I called uh, my old roommate, um, and they were all hanging out at his house. And so, he just told me congratulations and that uh, he's really happy for me, and he knows that I'm gonna go and, and do my best and, and be well prepared. And um, you know, he's seen it the past two years, and um, he just knows this is something that uh, means a lot to me. And he was just really really excited for me so it was good to hear from him uh, and catch up and see how he, he's doing as well. Um, I haven't really been in contact with, with either of them. I spoke to Quentin um, probably a, a little bit after I finally got moved up here to Duke. Uh, we just spoke briefly, um, but I know he, he's been super busy with his new uh, you know, schooling up here at Duke. He's finishing up some school, and um, you know, you know, I hope he's doing well. Uh, we'll probably be in touch probably at the end of the week uh, is my goal. I'm probably going to send him a message. and just to kind of get some tips and things that he saw last year. It's pretty exhausting and um, it takes a toll on you because you're waking up, you're wanting to get better, you want to practice, you want to be with your team, um, but also you're seeing things in the media, um, you're seeing things as far as out of, things out of your control. Um, so now that it, you know things aren't really clearing up as, as much as you'd want to see, um, you know, you'd love to see the Big Ten and Pac-12 keeping their their season but unfortunately they're not so you know we just have to move on and focus on what we can do um, to be better and 
I think uh, I tweeted this the other day, and it's just, you know, something I talk about a lot is be great where your feet are. Um, I think when we come into the building here, uh, when we go to the, the grocery store, um, when we go shopping, when we go anywhere, you know, understand where you are, who you represent, um, your last name, things, things like that, and, and just be gr great where your feet are. And I think um, we've done a good job of that, and I know our medical staff has done a great job of that and keeping us – uh, as healthy as possible and uh, free from any any sickness and so but uh, we're gonna put all that behind us leading up to this this week on on Saturday and, and just focus on the game for for three three and a half hours and um, try to pull out a win Right. Um, I just started to play a lot faster and make uh, decisive decisions. And I didn't want to uh, go out there, you know, with 80% in my mind that, oh, I think I know where to go with the ball. I think I just wanted to um, know, understand the fundamentals of, of the progression of the offense and um, look out on the defense, see what I see, and, and play fast and play how I've always played. Um, and that is just being confident in my decision making. And so I'd say the last two weeks, um, I've been throwing the ball a lot better, uh, putting it where my receiver has an opportunity to, to catch it and make a play. Um, and then also, you know, stretching it downfield. And I think I, I've done a good job of that over the last couple of weeks. Um, well, when they had committed out of high school, I was super excited for them, uh, John, Will and John. And um, that was a school that I had in my mix before I, I committed elsewhere. And so when I decided and, and thought about transferring, I, I definitely texted them first um, just to see, you know, kind of like their thoughts on everything, how they enjoy Duke um, and just kind of get some insight. And so. Uh, when I came on my visit, I uh, stayed with Will and John. Uh, we went out to dinner and uh, got to hang out with the O lineman and a lot of his friends. And so we we kind of had that that connection and rekindled, you know, the friendship that we already had. And and now with him being, um, I hate that that Jack is out and hurt, but um, you know, next man up mentality. And so you know, Will has been working really hard, and he also has battled back from injury as well. And uh, he's done a tremendous job. So I'm just uh, super excited that, that me and him get to get to go to work. Um, it'll be different for sure because, you know, that's never, never really happened before. Um, but I think you get out there on the field, you love to see the fans, you love to hear the crowd. Um, but after a while, that all goes away. And you're literally, sometimes you can't even hear uh, what's going on, no matter how loud it is. Um, and so it, I think it'll give, you know, the defense and offense an opportunity to really uh, focus. And um, you'll be able to hear you know, uh, a call outs or, or um, anything that I'm saying, my O-line will be able to hear, my receivers will probably be able to hear. Um, but everybody on that field will pretty much be able to hear a lot better, uh, which might make communication a lot better. Well, we hope so. Um, but also just realizing that uh, it is empty or emptier than, than usual. And um, you just kind of can't let that affect you or, 
or anything like that. You just got to go out and play. Yeah, um, probably uh, w one of our first scrimmages. Um, well, in practice, you know, things are always in sync. And so people are on the field, people are behind you, you're seeing other things other than the defense. Um, but when we had our first scrimmage, uh, it was just offense and defense on the field. And I, I felt really comfortable there um, with, the, with the play calling, uh, decision making, and I could see things better. Um, so I'd say that first scrimmage really boosted my confidence to go into the later practices of camp. Um, and then later on, we had another, we had more of a, a half scrimmage, um, you could say. And uh, I just kind of continued that, that progression. Um, and that's probably when, when I felt most comfortable. And that was, uh, that was probably, you know, right at two weeks ago um, where I could go out there and I felt, you know, I could play fast and, um, help the guys out if they if they had any questions. Yeah, it has helped. Um, we're kind of on different sides of Duke in a way. I'm, I'm in grad school and he's and he's got his own classes. So we don't really see each other a ton. Um, but when we're here, uh, when we get a chance to go eat together, um, it's just like when we were back in high school, pregame meal before a Friday night game, um, we just kind of cut up. And uh, we like to check in on, on a lot of our friends and see how they're doing and just, um, you know, get back to how things used to be. Um, and it's great, you know. He's he's done a great job, and all, and John has done a done a tremendous job as well. He just got put on scholarship, and so we we're we we're super stoked about that. Yeah, I think Coach Fry has done a tremendous job uh, getting the guys ready um, with with things that he's done in the past that he can also add on to our offense and um, what Coach Cut likes to do. Um, the guys are physical. Uh, they're playing fast. They're communicating well, um, and they're you know they're pl like they're playing fast. They're not playing hesitant, and that's something Coach Fry has kind of instilled into them. And, it's just if, if you're going to mess up or if you thought you messed up, just go full speed because um, if we're all wrong, we're all right. Um, I might call the wrong play or wrong front or something like that, but um, if we're all on the same page, then, then uh, we're all right. So um, they've done a great job so far. Uh, I know they're, they're really excited for this challenge because last year was, was not what, you know, they, what, what they wanted to happen. Um, and so I think uh, this year they're, they're coming out strong and uh, wanting to uh, make a difference. And so that, that's what they've done. Yeah, um, well, a lot of people know I kind of got thrown in the fire. Um, and so after that that game, I just had to take a lot more ownership of my role and position, um, not only as a, as a signal guy um, off the, on the sideline, but also as a, as a backup 
um, to go in for, you know, a hurt, the hurt starter. So, um, and then also when we were up, I got the opportunity to go in and play and I had to prepare like the starter. So I had to see, you know, and Trevor was new as well. He had to, he had to kind of learn on the run. And um, so we would do a lot together and I got to see a lot from him and what he used to do uh, leading up to the week. And uh, I do a lot of those same things. Um, it's really helped me. It helped me the last two years there. And uh, it's going to help me this year as well. I think uh, my I think it's just the the potential plays that we're that we're going to be able to make um, with my with the skill player and the skill set we have here. Um, I think everybody is excited about that. Um, there's one ball. Everybody realizes that, and uh, we're going to find ways to to get around to everybody. Um, and I think that's something that. It's a point of emphasis. Um, we got a lot of talent on the edge. We got big receivers. We got good running backs, and we got great tight ends and, and great slots. So um, the goal is to is to play fast, get it around to everybody, and and watch them make plays. Um, that's what you do with athletes in space. You give it to them and, and let let it do it for you. Yeah, um, it'll be my first start since uh, the state championship game uh, back in the Georgia Dome when I was my senior year. Um, but I think with my experience uh, at Clemson and playing in a, in a lot of games and playing a lot of football, that the, because I treated those games like I was a starter, um, and when I went in, I wanted to do well. Um, I wanted to keep the offense alive and, and score points. That that mindset hasn't really changed and going, you know, transferring to Duke and, and this transition and everything. I, I treat the practice game, um, scrimmages, um, and team like it's a game. And I, that's kind of, you know, since I, it is my first start, I have to do that. I have to prepare myself that way and I have to ready myself that way. Um, and so I'm, I'm really excited. I think it's a great opportunity, um, for Duke and, and our offense and, um, to go out there and show them, show them what we have.